हरे कृष्णा टू टेक सोल क्रेडिट फॉर आर एबिलिटीज इज टू पुट टू मच बर्डन ऑन आर सेल्फ ऑल ऑफ अस स्ट्राइव टू मेक अ मार्क इन द वर्ल्ड not necessarily in an egoistic sense but just in a basic existential sense that our existence counts and for that if we have certain abilities that help us to stand out then that's a big asset at the same times our uh, same time our abilities can uh, make us inflated can give us a big head so if we start taking credit for our abilities especially if we start taking sole credit for our abilities then we put too much of a burden on ourselves normally we may think that if i don't have an ability then my insignificance in this big world burdens me while it's true that lack of abilities can be and distressing but when we have abilities we also need to know that the abilities we have are not actually our abilities alone this we see especially in any creative field okay an author decides to write a poet decides to write a poetry and sometimes their ideas creativity just flows and sometimes it just doesn't flow why this difference it's because that ability is not just their ability it is actually god manifesting through them there is a higher force a higher power a higher being who manifests through them and that's how they are able to be an be a channel for that ability at that time in the bhagavad gita points to this in 7 8 when it states that paurusham drishu rasoham apsu kaunteya prabhashmi shashi suryayo pranava sarva vedeshu shabda khe paurusham drishu it says that actually krishna says i am the ability in people that means certainly we it is through us that that ability is manifesting but we are the channel for that ability we are not the source of that ability and that's why sometimes our abilities seem to desert us that's why sometimes say batsmen who are super batsmen suddenly go out of form and just can't bat so now we we do need to recognize if we have certain abilities so that we can use them but while using them if we start thinking this is my ability then we burden ourselves why because sometimes that ability might not might just not come when we want it to come and what do you do at that time it will be overwhelming we'll start feeling that something is intrinsically wrong with us that we have become worthless that we were earlier glorious and now we have become igno- now we have got a ignominious fate before us rather than letting ourselves become deluded in this way if we recognize that our abilities are gifts then whenever that ability manifests through us we use it fully and and gratefully and when it doesn't manifest we keep plugging on humbly knowing that that ability was not ours so its absence is not necessarily shocking of course it is distressing because we would like to be productive but without getting too disoriented or devastated we keep plugging on doing our part and when god wants that higher ability will manifest through us and do magic so in this way if we see our ability as a gift from god then both the presence of ability will fill us with gratitude and the absence of ability will fill us with humility and both ways we can enhance our god consciousness and that is the lasting asset that is the most valuable thing that we can achieve in life is a deepened god consciousness because that will help us not just make a mark in the world but to 
mark our way beyond this world to krishna's abode to absorption in krishna wherein lies the greatest security and the greatest fulfillment when we become aware of krishna's presence and his love for us then that gives our life supreme meaning thank you hare krishna